In this video, I'm gonna give you an honest review of the Huion Canvas 24 Plus. I've been using it for months and now I'm ready to talk about it. First, I will tell you the things I like and then I'm gonna mention a couple of points you might wanna consider before buying it. So stick to the end of the video to hear my complaints. By the way, Huion sent me this tablet, so thank you for that. However, they also gave me the full freedom to tell you my totally honest review. So get ready. If you are not familiar with graphic tablets, this one is basically a monitor that you need to connect to your laptop or your computer. And then you can sketch on it with its own pen. I have experience over 10 years using different types of graphic tablets. So I'm really excited to share my opinion on this one. Let's see what's in the box. Of course we have the main part first, which is the 24 inch display. It has fully laminated anti-glare glass, so you don't get distracted by all the reflections going around. Then we have this box, which contains all the other elements, and it is very organized, so I like it. Inside we find cleaning cloth and the drawing glove, cables as 3-in-1, USB-C and the power adapter. Here we have the stand, I will mention more about it soon because it's really cool. And of course we have the lightweight pen and the donut to hold the pen with additional nibs inside. I have the same pen for other Huion models and I'm quite happy with it. Alright, the first thing I really like about this tablet is the size of it. With this huge display, going into details of your work is easier and you have more control over your sketch. I was using Canvas 13 for over a year before and sometimes it is not that easy to see details when you zoom out from your sketch. If I see the whole car on this huge display, I can still see the details as well. It is really cool. But honestly, most of the time you don't use the whole display for sketching. Also on paper, when I sketch, I prefer like A4 paper size. So if you like to draw on A3 or a bigger paper, Definitely you need a big tablet like this one. But even if you are like me and you only use some part of the display, it is really nice to see the rest of the sketch while working on it. At first day after unboxing the tablet, I felt like putting the glow on because it is a bigger surface and I felt like it would be easier to have this slippery feeling with the glow. But after using the tablet a couple months more, now I don't feel need to put the glow on. Maybe in summer it might be useful. Also, I didn't experience any overheating problem with this display. About the size you should keep in mind that it is not that portable and it takes a lot of space on your desk compared to the smaller models. For example last week I needed to work from another location and rather than carrying this huge Canvas 24 Plus I took my Canvas 13 with me. It is definitely lighter and easier to carry with you. Another thing I really like is the stand. As the display is huge, you feel need to move it around and change the angle while sketching something on it. And I really love how practical and effective this stand is. The next thing I like is there's no shortcut keys on the display. Well, this might be a disadvantage for some people, but I really like this clean design on the front face. I don't use shortcuts on the tablets anyway, because for years I got used to use my keyboard for that. So for me, having no keys, no shortcuts on the tablet is totally fine. Soon I'm gonna tell you my complaint about this tablet, I know you are curious, but first let me talk about that sketch quickly. As we have this big surface, I really enjoy starting to sketch directly on it. Also importing scanned sketches and work on them is totally fine. The pen pressure and the distance between the pen and the sketch is also really good. As I said, the pen is very light and it gives very easy control to it. On this sketch, I wanted to have a dark feeling, so I first painted the whole background and then started to bring the car into life by focusing on highlights and shadows of it. To separate it from background, I added a flashy blue color. This adds some pop to it. Then I added some details, enjoy the tablet and the creativity flow. Here you can see that I'm adding the rim light, which covers the edge of the car, so it also helps me to bring the car to the foreground. But I will not go into too much details of this sketch, because this is not a tutorial video. But if you are interested in learning car design sketching on Photoshop, you can find my online course on my website. So you can also sketch like a professional car designer. At this stage, I almost finished the sketch and it is time to adjust the colors and adding some effects. And this is exactly what my complaint is about. If you watched my Canvas 13 review, you might remember I was not so happy with colors and contrast of it. It doesn't mean that colors and contrast on this tablet is bad or useless. I work on both tablets for professional and personal projects and they are 100% capable of the work. However, when I finish the sketch and if I open it on my phone or another display, I see some differences. 
I mean all the displays are a little bit different at the end and I tried to adjust the contrast and the colors, but I can't achieve the same crispy feeling from some other displays. For this price it is totally fine and I happily use this tablet on my works, however if you are professional and want the next level quality, then you might want to keep this in mind. Maybe that's why there is a Pro line on Huion. I checked on Huion's website and there is Canvas 24 Pro, which has 4K display and I think it helps a lot to this crispy feeling. At the same time it also has more colors on it. So I would really love to try this Canvas 24 Pro with the 4K display and compare it to this one in another video. As conclusion I would say Huion Canvas 24 Plus is really good deal for price performance balance. And I had very similar thoughts on Canvas 13 and if you want to hear more you can watch the full review video here. If you like the video please show it on the like button and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more car design content. See you.